Solicitor General Jose Calida tells the Supreme Court that the recent attack in Holo is proof that there is an ongoing rebellion in Mindanao which should serve as factual basis to extend martial law in the region. Marlene Alcaide has the story. The bombings in Holo Sulu that killed at least 20 and injured more than 100 individuals prove that there is a continuing rebellion and terrorism in Mindanao. This is one of the bases the government has cited on why martial law should be extended in Mindanao for another year. That's part of the ongoing rebellion. Officials from the DALG, the Philippine National Police, and the Armed Forces of the Philippines attended today's oral arguments before the Supreme Court, which is hearing petitions filed against the third martial law extension that Congress had passed last December. Proclamation number 216, or the Martial Law Declaration in Mindanao, was imposed during the Marawi siege, which involved the Mauta Group in May 2017. But Senior Associate Justice Carpio had a question for Lorenzo. Is there an ongoing armed rebellion today in Marawi City? Uh, not in Marawi City, Your Honor. Thank you, General. The AFP, meanwhile, will recommend the lifting of martial law if they are able to neutralize enemies by 70%. Representative Ed Salagman insists this third extension has no factual basis. No, definitely. In the first place, uh, these uh, hollow bombings were categorized by the administration as uh, terrorist acts, not in pursuant to a rebellion. They were given until February 4 to submit all additional documents and memoranda. For News 5, Marlene Alcaide, we are One News.